Hi and welcome. This is Corey Sievers from the Savvy Team. We are here talking brain boosting tips. So we'll be talking in particular three brain boosting herbs to help you improve memory, relieve anxiety and age proof your mind. It's great to have you joining us here and we're looking forward to sharing with you some tips. Make sure as you're getting on in the comments that you let us know, you know, what are some of the issues that you're struggling with related to foggy thinking, memory, brain, you know, fog, all of these sorts of things. We'd love to know so that we can talk uh, about, you know, dealing with those things. So big welcome. We really are a passionate group of people there to, you know, to help you reach that higher level of wellness. So since we're talking, you know, health and well-being stuff here, it's important to realize that the information that will be shared over the course of this session reflects my research or the experiences of those sharing testimonials or comments. It's for educational purposes only, so it shouldn't be seen as medical advice. It's general in nature. The information is general in nature. And so, of course, all of your individual health concerns and every health concern out there has not been taken into account. So any comments and experiences should not be interpreted as therapeutic claims. If you have any questions as to the appropriateness of the information we're sharing with regards to your own health, please discuss this with your healthcare provider. But we do encourage you to take self-responsibility for your own well-being and learn more on this topic about foggy thinking and basically about complementary medicine in general. When we're talking about brain boosting, it is very interesting that there's a lot of humor that gets around out there. You know, brain fog is actually quite common. So, you know, we, we see humorous things like this, some memes that are generated like, like this one that we shared today. Tuesday is just Monday's ugly sister. And, you know, this is related to the fact that we're, you know, if we're, we're feeling like this, it's often because, you know, our mind isn't clear that we, we haven't recovered from last week. You know, here we've had the weekend and we're getting into the work week or whatever, whatever you do for the week and you're just still struggling as of Tuesday. So, you know, there's not feeling your best, being low in energy and having foggy thinking. It's not uncommon. So th then there's these sorts of comments here. Due to an intense mind fog, all of my thoughts have been grounded until further notice. Maybe that's how you feel related to all of this. Or maybe you know people who feel this way. We're here to show you how to spark up your brain, how to, you know, some of the, some of the not only just tips, but specific herbs that can help you to enhance your memory. Shout out to my muscle memory. Oh, I'm home already. How did I get here? And I'm sure you've had this experience here. You know, this is for driving you home safely. Thanks, thank you to my brain and my muscle memory for driving me home safely when my brain goes on vacation. And so I'm afraid my brain has already left for the day. And look, so many people have that afternoon slump and, you know, they don't know what to do to be able to improve their the function of their mind and maybe you're in that situation where you feel like your you, you know your brain leaves leaves for home far too early when you've still got work to do so we're here to talk about all of that where as we share brain boosting tips so again if you have just joined us welcome it's Corey here director of wellness education around here linda's on the line as well we have a whole range of different wellness programs, as you can see on screen here, right from our executive and um, high performance entrepreneur, you know, well-being program, as we call it. The um, We've got cleansing, detoxing, healthy heart challenge, our 10 years younger program, programs to help kids, you know, to get more out of their their life as well. So we really do have something for everyone. But at the base of all of this is this fundamental concept about the fact that does being well, feeling great, does it mean not being sick or is it something more? You know, we can feel sometimes old and grumpy or just under the weather and the brain fog that we're talking about here. And it's not just about getting rid of brain fog. It's actually about achieving that optimal well-being, that higher level of wellness. That's what we believe. So we're more about not just treating symptoms and decreasing sickness, but actually helping you go way beyond just a not sick point of view 
and to reach that higher level of wellness. And we call this our wellness paradigm on this illness wellness continuum here. So we're all about help. We're all about helping you reach a higher level of well-being. This we won't go into this in depth over the course of this particular session. We have a free web class on all of this information. But we believe that clearing up your foggy thinking, achieving optimal well-being, slowing aging, looking and feeling your best could be as easy as one, two, three. Number one, decreasing the chemicals that you're exposed to every day. So changing to safer products, you know, the things that you're using in the home, avoiding chemicals in food, etc. Increasing nutrition, aiming for the nutrients that your body needs every single day for optimal well-being. We need to then open the body's detox pathway so that we are able to detoxify properly, open the sewerage treatment, shall we say. So as I said, we cover all of this in a free web class. So look out for that. Uh, for more information on all of that. So um, just understand that what we're here in the Savvy Team to do is to help you reach a higher level of well-being. So if you want to get rid of your foggy thinking, you want to boost your brain, you want to be, you know, just better and able to get through your tasks easier and enjoy it more, you want to improve your overall well-being, we will guide you there. So congratulations for being with us here as we discuss brain boosting tips. So perhaps for you, it's, you know, it's a matter of, you know, do you feel foggy and forgetful? Do you run out of puff? Is it, you know, what is it that your issue that you're suffering from? Is it trouble in the workplace being able to focus? Does your memory seem weak and your brain tired? Is that what is your issue? Perhaps it's, you know, you're like this lady here. Does it feel like sometimes your brain is overtaxed and, you know, not running at its full capacity to meet all the demands that are that are upon you? Because we live in a pretty fast paced and complex world. And at many times, you know, can, it, it can sort of seem that we're not up for it. And it's people of all different ages will suffer from some form of, you know, not being at our best at peak performance mentally. And of course, you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of concern around issues, long term issues into the future, like Alzheimer's, etc. So what can we do to start looking after ourselves? So we'll be talking not just about herbs that can spark you up, but some underlying issues that can really make sure that you maintain your well-being long into the future. So if you find yourself sort of constantly feeling fatigued and distracted, moody or just, you know, as we might call it off, then you're probably dealing with some form of what you know, we would call brain fog. It's sort of become an unwanted side effect of our fast paced industrialized lifestyle because, you know, today we've got a lot of convenient but processed foods, factory farmed meats, for example, and we just don't tend to spend the same amount of time really looking after our health and well being and the health of our brain. There's a high percentage nowadays of people who suffer from nutrient deficiencies and things like sugar overload, a lack of sleep, high amounts of stress, and all of these are going to end up affecting your energy levels and your brain function. See, the brain, the brain relies upon a, a steady stream of vitamins and minerals and amino acids, essential fatty acids, and all of this sort of thing, as well as, of course, enough rest and relaxation. But when I talked there about not, you know, we need to decrease chemicals and increase nutrition, you know, this is the thing, our body needs micronutrients and we're suffering from micronutrient deficiencies based on the fact that we have so much processed food nowadays. So, but luckily, brain fog is pretty much a, a repairable condition. <laughs> so if you want to regain that sense of clarity, focus, joy, um, and, you know, move towards that high level of wellness, it actually starts with some of those underlying issues like improving your diet, decreasing stress levels, getting better sleep and getting more activity. But of course, there are some specific supplements that we can take to, you know, to fast track results in terms of improving our memory and thinking, even spark up your nervous system. And I'll share a, a great, a great success story. There a visual success story of somebody who was suffering from some nerve problems there um, by way of Bell's palsy. So if you know people with nerve conditions, suffering from nerve pain, or if it's just foggy thinking, brain function, all of that sort of thing, 
all of this information I think would be very valuable uh, for them. So some of the things that we might consider brain fog might be you know, linked to other things like chronic fatigue and low energy levels, irritability, just general trouble concentrating, maybe headaches, uh, forgetfulness, low motivation, sort of feeling hopeless and a bit mildly depressed, not to the level of clinical depression, but, you know, just down and flat and, you know, like Tuesday is just Monday's ugly system, like our cat said before. Anxiety, confusion, all of these sorts of things can sort of all be, uh, you know, thought of as brain fog. And as depicted by these images here, people of any age can suffer from brain fog. So what, what causes brain fog? What are some of the causes? For starters, it's not surprising that you would experience brain fog if you're not getting enough sleep. There is a higher likelihood of feeling tired and having brain fog if you're not sleeping well. And again, that's, you know, we're very holistic in the way we look at things. And so, you know, rather than just sparking up brain function, we're looking to say, well, what's the core, what's the underlying cause? And if it's poor sleep, like that you don't get um, effective sleep, then it may be beneficial for us to focus on helping you sleep more soundly and that will naturally help your brain fog and fatigue. So, you know, that's the thing where we don't want to just treat the symptom. We want to look at the underlying issues here. But if you do consistently get good sleep, but you still struggle with brain fog symptoms and ongoing fatigue, low motivation, all that sort of thing, chances are it's something to do with micronutrient deficiencies and generally your diet. Could be too much sugar, alcohol, refined carbs, too much caffeine, you know, downers and all that sort of thing. So to give you an example, there was a 2013 study that was in the Journal of Clinical Autonomic Research Society, and they used the Wood Mental Fatigue Inventory Test to gather information on 138 subjects who suffered from what they considered to be brain fog. The top ranked descriptors of brain fog were these things. I'm forgetful. I feel cloudy. I have difficulty focusing. I have difficulty thinking. Sometimes I have difficulty communicating and getting my words out. Is that you? Do you know people like that? We're all like that at some point, but if it's, if it's there frequently, then we can do something about it. We really do need to act on that. So while the most commonly reported brain fog triggers were things like fatigue, lack of sleep, prolonged periods of um, standing, feeling dehydrated and all that sort of thing, there are some underlying things as well. See, on a cellular level, brain fog is believed to be triggered by high levels of inflammation. There's a lot of research now looking at the fact that we have too much inflammation in our body and like could be high levels of inflammation or it could be generally changes to the three primary hormones that will determine our mood, our energy and our focus. These are things you might have heard of like dopamine, serotonin and cortisol. Now cortisol is the body's primary stress hormone and um, it keeps you awake and alert, but dopamine and serotonin help keep you more joyful, motivated and calm. So you can sort of start to get a picture here of what could be going on. The brain and your entire body relies upon somewhat of a you know fairly complex interplay of hormones that all work to keep one another in check. So when levels of one hormone falls to, you know, tends to fall too low, for example, your serotonin drops because of a really low carbohydrate intake, or it climbs because you've had too, you know, um, climbs too high, oh, but because of stress over money or whatever, so you've got your blood sugar ups and downs, this can lead to you know, cortisol ups and downs lead to stress, lead to you feeling up and down. The whole system can be thrown off. So rebalancing these chemicals with proper diet, being aware of what triggers issues, this can all improve your brain function. So the other factor that tends to increase brain fog um, is that, is as I mentioned before, inflammation. It's tending to be considered the root cause of most diseases nowadays. And it's um, and it, it can be tied to all sorts of things beyond just brain fog. It's actually this this inflammation and, and low-grade activation of the immune system has actually been linked to depression, Alzheimer's, dementia, insomnia, and a whole bunch of, whole host of other issues as well. So one of the theories behind this 
this is that you know all of the extra molecules these inflammatory molecules i'm not going into i don't want to go into too much detail but i want to give you a little bit of the fact that there's some underlying issues that have been well researched about this issue of brain fog okay so according to a 2015 report published in the frontiers in neuroscience people most likely to suffer from brain fog include those dealing with other issues like for example chronic fatigue syndrome autism spectrum disorders allergies celiac disease gluten intolerance or some degree of food allergies so these these underlying issues are triggering this overload of the immune system triggering inflammation triggering the impact on your brain so that's why we don't want to just treat symptoms sometimes we don't just want to spark up the brain although that can help in the short term to support we want to then go down to the lower levels and actually heal your body so the good news is that anti-inflammatory foods do support brain health high intakes of vitamins minerals antioxidants have been proven to benefit your mood and your mental capabilities so what i'm going to share with you right now is seven natural ways to beat brain fog so yeah so just related to that we were talking about talking about that shelly wrote in that that my memory has definitely improved over the last 10 years by adding in minerals and vitamins that she was lacking so that's that that step two of increasing nutrition that we talked about then uh, linda sharing some tips here too uh, writing in that writing in that her youngest daughter was really suffering with her studies recently having a real challenge not feeling she was up for it doing the course along with work until she started using the formula that we recommend um, for you know sparking up the brain and uh, she says an amazing difference to her thinking, concentration, focus, and got rid of that massive brain fog. She'll never go off it. So um, yeah, good, good on you, um, good on you, Kayleen. We see Kayleen saying that she could use some of the brain boosting herbs, but she also loves the idea of this age proofing your mind. Well, you know, that's that holistic focus that we have. It's not just about that. Some of the latest science that I'll talk to you about, where they talk about nootropics, but you know, if we look at some of the fundamentals, we can really, uh, you know, end up aging gracefully. <laughs> we could hopefully age proof our mind as well. So back to these seven ways of beating brain fog. Number one, watch your sugar intake. See, cutting back on packaged and processed foods, um, really important. Many of these are loaded with sugar and other things like trans fats, you know, and, and other chemicals and artificial sweeteners and all that sort of thing this is one of the first steps that you can take to beat brain fog so our recommendation is to follow our eat savvy dietary approach which is really about making sure your diet is low in toxins and allergens and yet high in nutrition while at the same time optimizing the body's natural detoxification pathway so just visit our site and you can download that for free but sugar might in you know the interest sugar is an interesting one because sugar is what we tend to go for when we're feeling low and foggy so sugar might make you feel energetic and happier at first but ultimately your sugar addiction robs you of a steady energy and focus but just be careful of lots of sugar and then don't move from sugar to artificial sweeteners either we want to be reducing sugar reducing chemicals all of those sorts of things so watch your sugar intake Number two is get enough healthy fats. So many people, the only fats in their diet are ones that do not support the healthiest building of the brain structures. Our, our brain is quite a lot structural fat. So, you know, if you can just imagine if you're thinking about building, you know, if, you're, if you've had experience building something, imagine you've got, your brain's got healthy fats uh, that it's that it wants to build proper brain tissue and then it's got some dodgy fats over here it would preferentially choose the good building blocks the good fats but if you don't provide it with those good fats it has to do something and that's where a lot of theories are this is where we're having the issues with focus and concentration and the higher prevalence of ADD and these sorts of things and cognitive disorders and and you know emotional issues as well so we need to get enough healthy fats 
They're also important to produce the adequate happiness hormones and also to fight inflammation. A lot of people, when they're looking to lose weight, can go on low-fat diets. These can pose health risks uh, unless the low-fat diet is cyclical in nature, uh, like one of the ones that we recommend. High inflammation levels are partially caused by you know, imbalances in these good fats, in fatty acids. And this has been proven to be linked to depression, cognitive decline, weight gain, and a host of other disorders. And unfortunately, the standard Western diet is filled with a whole bunch of pro-inflammatory um, fats from refined vegetable oils, farm-raised animals, you know, but it's actually very low in the anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats, you know, from things like wild-caught fish, grass-fed eggs and beef and nuts and seeds, for example. We've got to look for healthy fats both in the diet and through supplementation for optimal brain function. Next, we need to manage stress. And this is where sometimes, you know, these days it's tough to get more than a few hours without an influx of all the stresses like texts, emails, phone calls, all these things that we've got to get, you know, get back on top of. And, and then if we, if we can't focus, then that increases our stress. So it's a bit of a uh, nasty cycle there. So high amounts of stress increase the production of cortisol in the system. And the side effects include feeling wired but tired. Um, that's one of the problems with cortisol. But also, you could end up with weight gain, hormonal imbalances, um, insomnia, depression, and even more anxiety. So keeping your cortisol in check and practicing these stress reduction techniques and all that sort of thing can really make a difference for you. Okay, so definitely manage stress. Next thing we're going to do is get some quality sleep. One of the fastest and most reliable ways to improve your brain function is to get better sleep. See, the hormones in your brain stay in balance when your body gets adequate rest at night. And that's generally, you know, around about seven hours for most adults, at least seven hours. But when you're constantly sort of running on fumes, so to speak, you know, it's pretty likely that you're going to find it hard to pay attention at work engage in meaningful conversations. You know, you've probably had that experience when you're really tired and actually having a conversation with someone, it's just so hard to concentrate. <laughs> and you know, of course, it's gonna be hard for you to retain information as well. So you're basically better able to manage hunger, food cravings, emotions, and conversations when you're rested. So make sure that you do what you can to stay rested. Next, we need to get some healthy exercise. Now we say healthy exercise here because, you know, you might go, hang on, but isn't all exercise healthy? Well, no. See, we're talking here about inflammation. You know, short, sharp bursts of exercise can actually be, um, and walking and all these things can be, uh, can actually decrease inflammation, but other types increase it. So there's a big um, push at the moment for lots of cardio, like people in their 50s starting to run marathons and all this sort of thing. This is a cortisol boosting thing to do. So, and it can also end up, people can end up doing a lot of overtraining. And so this ends up increasing inflammation and this can lead to more hormonal balance, more fatigue, for most people, moderate, regular exercise can help balance your hormones, improve your insulin resistance, help you get better sleep. All of it helps you to, you know, to reduce that mental fatigue and improve the circulation to the head and, you know, improve your whole mental clarity. Exercise re releases natural endorphins that can lift your mood, but overexerting yourself and overtraining without enough rest, actually increases cortisol, depletes your body of nutrients and can end up making you feel more foggy. You know, be careful of that. Another one is to balance your hormones. See, there are some things, If you, if you, again, if you're depleted in nutrition for an extended length of time, this can end up triggering thyroid dysfunction, adrenal insufficiency, general hormonal imbalance, and that's especially with women's monthly cycle, this can all lead to increased levels of brain fog. When is brain fog not a mental disorder? When it's a hormonal problem. 
So again, we've got to look holistically in order to get you back on track. So last one here is to address food sensitivities. When you suffer from food sensitivities and you don't cut out all of those sources from your diet, then they can just, you know, they might not cause um, ma a major feeling like a bloating or any issue, but it, there's just this little trickle of gut related damage that just keeps happening every day, you know, or inflammation that keeps happening every day. And this can have a nasty effect on the brain because of these, this constant inflammatory reaction. So don't think that just because you don't experience, you know, the typical bloating or stomach pain or any of those, um, you know, what you think of digestive problems from food doesn't mean that it's not impacting you. One of the things that you can do is we have a hair analysis test for those who are living in Australia, certainly for those of you listening into this outside of Australia, it's a bit more difficult for us to do that because we need you to send us a hair sample. But we can actually look at some of the foods that could be triggering issues for you and you know creating food sensitivities. But there are other tests you can go and get. The hair test that we do is just a lot um, less expensive than some of the allergy tests out there. And it gives you good indication and can help you to know what next. But definitely, if you if you have any, you know, like if you just want to start moving towards a higher level of wellness and reducing allergens, follow the general eat savvy approach. It's really about helping you to avoid the foods that are higher in inflammatory chemicals, inflammatory, you know, plant-based nutrients as well that we don't, you know, that we think are healthy that aren't so healthy and reach for food that is simply higher in nutrition and less of an issue. So if we want to improve our memory, relieve anxiety and get rid of brain fog naturally, those basics that I've just covered Really good idea, but I want to tell you about some of the specific herbs. So if you have just sort of been struggling with mental fog, um, you know, not being clear at work, not being able to remember things, you know, forgetting people's names as soon as they would just indulge in the name, um, wondering, you know, walking down the hallway and forgetting what you were going to do, then don't despair. There's good news. There are some ways that you can protect your brain from the demands of life. Oh, I just shared some tips there, but some of these herbs and nutritional components can help fire it up so it can function at its best. You know, this concept of brain stimulation has certainly become more, more aware out there thanks to popular movies such as Limitless and Lucy. These sort of alerted the general public to the concept of mental and cognitive improvement, brain enhancement, and the topic of nootropics, which are, you know, mental enhancing drugs or herbs. So nootropics can be used to refer to herbal supplements or smart drugs, including those that are dangerous and illegal, sort of like depicted in those movies. But all these nootropics can improve mental performance, attention, motivation, and intelligence. And in the Savvy Team, we're not into using the medications. We're into using natural herbal ingredients that are proven um, in the efficacy and certainly things that have more of a holistic impact. If you're intrigued by the idea of things that can specifically relieve brain fog, boost your memory, boost your brain power, help you get more out of life, you know, actually get more done with less time, feed your brain, then this, you're in the right place for us to talk about. These three brain boosting herbs to improve memory, relieve anxiety, and age proof your mind. We actually have an article on our Healthy Wealthy Wise site exactly on this. So, you know, if you didn't follow some of this, you can certainly go and read up on these nutrients. That's at savvy team.com forward slash HWW. I'll take you through these three brain boosting herbs. Number one is Bacopa. Okay, Bacopa. Bacopa monieri, often called Brahmi. Used throughout Asia as a traditional treatment for a whole bunch of disorders, right from asthma to epilepsy. Um, in the West, it's pretty well known for its potent nootropic abilities. So it's a key herb for rejuvenating the brain and rejuvenating the nervous system. It improves all aspects of mental functioning, including the ability to learn new information, retain information, so retain what you learn, recall the information when needed, 
And this is according to a lot of research. It sort of provides somewhat of a one-two punch of benefits in that it supports our brain function, but also reduces the effect of stress on the brain. So I just covered how stress can challenge the brain in its ability to recall and function properly. So I don't want to get a too geeky on you. I've already got a little bit geeky with some of the things I've been talking about, but specifically for those of you into the details, Brahmi has been proven to protect the hippocampus. And this is the part of the brain primarily associated with memory. So we get to see the science of why it works on the brain. It's also, um, it also protects dopamine receptor dysfunction in the brain. So it can help you to maintain your energy and drives. Again, there's multiple effects that this herb's been proven to have, and this is why it's one of the primary ones in the nootropics, the herbal nootropics. It's been studied and proven to assist in protecting against the link with al aluminium and Alzheimer's that you know some people believe is, n is no longer a link, but they believe that, that Brahmi can protect against that. Again, that's another benefit there. But what Brahmi has been proven to do, according to different research, I'll just give you a list of some of the things. Improve your memory and capacity for attention. Improve your ability to recall. Improve focus. Enhance um, the brain communication. Improve ability to withstand emotional stress. Reduce nervousness and anxiety. Improve your immune system function. Increase serotonin, which is regarded, of course, as the chemical responsible for that whole mood balance concept and, you know, a deficiency of serotonin can lead to depression. Uh, Bacaba can help you sleep. It can support your adrenal glands. It can relieve anxiety and the negative effect of stress. So pretty powerful stuff. Well-respected memory enhancer, one of the most important herbs for brain function with a long history of its use in Ayurvedic medicine. You know, it's certainly been clinically proven to help learning, you know, to, to make you learn faster. <laughs> so again, so great for students, so great for if you're starting a new job, so great for if you're just not coping um, with, your, with your job. So that is Brahmi or Bacapa. Oh, also too, I just noticed here that it, it's actually been, ev some evidence suggests that it's been beneficial for improving even hand-eye coordination. So that's interesting there in its effect on the nervous system. Now we go to Ginkgo biloba. This is an all-round wonder plant, lots of brain-boosting properties in this one. And so it's been used in, in medicine in China for, for ages, you know, like even records going back to 2800 BC. But ginkgo was, has been recommended for you know, all sorts of different things because of its multiple benefits across the body, but asthma, swelling of the hands and feet, vascular disorders, but in particular for aging disorders and for the brain. So recently, ginkgo has been identified as a nootropic for its cognition-boosting memory-enhancing effects. So the scientific community has certainly taken an interest in ginkgo looking at that cognition boosting effect. The herb actually has been shown to be able to rejuvenate brain cells, to regulate neurotransmitters, to protect from brain cell degeneration, to increase the blood vessel microcirculation, so the blood flow to the smallest vessels of the brain to provide antioxidant activity as well. You know, so a lot of the things that we've seen over the years, the anecdotal evidence where people say that when I've been on your antioxidant blend with that ginkgo stuff, I can think clearer. When I've been on these that particular memory enhancing blend, I can't believe it, but like my headaches go away. You know, because this is the microcirculation to the head. So ginkgo boosts brain function in several ways, but particularly two of those ways stand out. Cerebral circulation. It can boost several brain functions by improving circulation in within the brain. So a study in the Department of Radiology at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, they used MRIs to measure the blood flow in nine healthy men. MRIs were done before and after the men took ginkgo for four weeks. And the study concluded overall that the regions of the subject's brains showed a significant change in cerebral blood flow after using that uh, after using ginkgo. 
So they could really see through MRIs that, that microcirculation improving. And so that's going to help everything related to your brain function, the way your body works, and of course your memory. So the second way that it stood out was cognitive ability and mental performance, well known as a memory booster in the nootropic community. Um, but studies have shown that it helps your attention span, your mood, and even your processing speeds. They did a large study um, at the Liberty University in Virginia, 262 healthy adults. It was a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Volunteers took ginkgo or a placebo for six weeks. So the subjects were put through several standardized tests, and at the end of the six-week trial, those using ginkgo showed significant improvement in verbal and visual recall and memory. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. That's just ginkgo. And you can read even more of that on that blog post. Then there's got a cola. And so this is, you know, in China, it's considered the miracle elixir of life. It's been, you know, one of those groundbreaking herbs for 2000 years. Historically, it's about healing wounds and purifying the blood, improving circulation, things like that, often being used in formulas for chronic venous insufficiency, varicose veins, even cellulite. And we've written about that on the, um, the Healthy Wealthy Wise blog as well. So it has a long history of use as a mind booster. Okay, so some of the of Gotcha Cola's benefits that have been studied, number one, reducing anxiety and uplifting mood, improving cognitive incline, uh, decline, and also improving antioxidant, having an antioxidant um, value to it as well. So pretty powerful stuff. They're just three herbs. They're all, you know, quite amazing for their benefit. So we like to put them all together. They're all in a formula that we use. And so I wanted to talk to you about the benefits of stacking or blending these natural nootropics. Once upon a time, you know, the ancient Chinese, for example, we talk about the Chinese medicinal formulas there that ancient physicians recognized that you could blend herbs and that they would complement or enhance one another when they're in a proper balanced type of formula. And they called this a synergistic benefit, of course. The latest hip term we could call, we could say, is called stacking. You know, you, you might call it, you might see on the internet a nootropic stack. And that's basically another way of um, saying, you know, a collection of a few different things. However, a stack may not necessarily be a synergistic blend, a properly formulated herbal synergistic blend. For those of you who, you know, I guess to clearly, those of you who are cooks, you know, just stacking flour, eggs, sugar, milk, you know, in equal amounts, whacking them together without any finesse, <laughs> without any synergy, doesn't make a nice cake, does it? Well, it's the same here. Uh, uh, a nootropic stack without any finesse in its formula without focusing on the quality of the individual nutrients in there, you know, it's not the, it doesn't end up producing the best result. So just sort of keep that in mind, I guess. So those three herbs we certainly use in a brilliant formula, we get great results with that. But some other things that you might like to consider, minerals, trace minerals. We've seen trace, people with trace mineral deficiencies have trouble with their thinking. B vitamins, deficiencies in various B vitamins can leave you feeling sluggish and moody. The essential fatty acids, the EPA and DHA obtained from things like krill and fish and omega-3 oils, a deficiency of that can leave your mind not functioning at its optimal level. And also these oils reduce inflammation as well. Prebiotics and probiotics, there is a definite gut Access so a mind body connection between the gut and the brain. They have actually shown that you can reduce stress levels and car and and spike up your thinking and create clarity by treating your gut by actually nourishing your gut. And last but not least, doing a detox can really spark up your brain function. Now, look in terms of I'm talking about helpful supplements and programs here, we have a whole detox program, but it's also worth noting, of course, you have to speak with your doctor, but many medications lead to brain fog, okay? Things like antidepressants, 
other stimulants, sleep aids, antipsychotics, even blood pressure and cholesterol medications can cause brain fog. So trying to spark up your brain with nutrition when it's being caused by, you know, as a side effect of a medication, you're sort of playing a bit of a losing game there. So if you regularly take any prescriptions and you've noticed changes in your mood and energy, definitely talk to your doctor because you might be able to do something there to minimize brain fog symptoms. So certainly we'd love to help you, but, you know, we may be fighting a losing battle if it's actually a side effect of a drug and it might be better for you to talk to your doctor and get off that drug if possible or look for other alternatives. So I mentioned before about that gut-brain axis. There's no doubt that, you know, the, the brain actually influences the way our gut works. That's why when we get stressed out, our gut may, you know, we may end up with diarrhea. But also our gut talks back to our brain. There's more connections going from the gut back to the brain than there actually is going from the brain down to the gut. So our gut influences our neurotransmitters, our stress and anxiety, our mood and behavior. Okay. One of the things I wanted to mention is I, I mentioned before about the fact that these sorts of herbs, and I read you some of the, and went through some of the information that I've researched. Some of these herbs can really have an impact on not just the brain, but also the nerves within the body. Okay, and so obviously our brain and our central nervous system are connected. And I wanted to share with you Tony's story of Bell's palsy improvement. Now, you can see the before and after picture here. Uh, Tony had suffered from Bell's palsy for close to a year, had, you know, thousands of dollars worth of acupuncture treatments. Medis the medical people had told him there was nothing they could do. They were giving him cortisone injections and all sorts of things to do what they can and there was nothing it was non-responsive so his face was dropped his eye would not close he would have to tape that um his left eye there closed at night just so he could um wouldn't dry out and his work was being affected by the fact that people could understand him on the phone he started on the formula that we recommend for brain and the nervous system uh, that includes those three herbs that we talked about before and within about a week, he said that for the first time, he noticed sort of like pins and needles in the side of his face. So it was stimulating the, the nerve. At that point, he went on to some, some trace minerals as well as a muscle building sort of strengthening um, supplement as well. And within a month, that was what you, what you see in his after picture. This is after a year of having no success. Now, I'm sure those treatments did something but what it needed was some nutrition in him to help spark up the nerve. One month results. You know, again, and as we shared that with different people at talks like this, talked about how nerves can be impacted, one particular lady approached and approached at a talk and sort of said, do you think that's worthwhile trying? Um, because I take, I have to take painkillers every single day for the back, the nerve damage in my back. And I'm really concerned of what they're doing to my liver. And so we just said it's a, it's a brain booster herbal supplement. Why not give it a go? She gave it a go and she found that when she got to a certain level, she, if she took it every day at a certain level, she was actually able to control the pain enough that she didn't need painkillers. So whatever it was doing there to help the nerve function um, and reduce the irritation helped her enough that she didn't need the painkillers. She went to a supposedly holistic practitioner who looked at it and said, oh, they're just mental boosters. If you've got foggy thinking, what we need to do is clean up your gut. Well, we would agree, but they did not, this natural practitioner didn't understand that these herbs can also have an impact on the nerves. This particular lady just, she went off as per the suggestion of the practitioner and then the pain returned, she got back on it, pain went away. So she, this is why we talk, what, where we're really passionate about teaching you about self-responsibility, self-responsibility. Because sometimes by you paying attention to how your own body responds, you can lead yourself. You know, you can be the hero in your wellness journey and reach that higher level of wellness. Our goal is just to guide you there. So users, we've got, a, we've got some comments coming in here, that's great. Uh, a whole, but like right across the board, users report with the this particular blend that we recommend. 
improved mental alertness, better mental clarity, a reduction in ADHD symptoms, reduction in nerve pain, memory and recall improvement, improved grades, ease of study, less sleepiness when driving, improved vision, less frequent headaches and less fatigue. Pretty amazing right across the, you know, right across the board there. Certainly um, lots of benefits. We talk about these herbs all in those that three brain boosting herbs to improve memory, relieve anxiety and age proof your mind. But this particular blend that we're talking about that we use and recommend in the Savvy Team just out of interest is actually 15% off tomorrow. So that's probably going to save you about $8, I think. Plus, if you hook up with the Savvy Team, speak to your Savvy Team Wellness Guide about um, getting this formula, we could give you another $10 discount off that as well. Just make sure you get the promo code from your your Savvy Team friend or, or otherwise message us on the page and we can uh, we can hook you up. Yeah, Kayleen was just saying, what an amazing success story that it helped with Bell's palsy. Absolutely. So um, Rhonda writes in, she was starting a new job some years ago. She started a job that required her to remember the names and roles of community workers in various organizations. She said she started taking this formula that we recommend and after three months, with the names and the roles now clear, so she just used it just to begin with, she stopped taking it. But then she, then that's when I noticed senior moments of lost words and failed concentration, she says. So she reordered it, soon felt the benefits again. So definitely better brain function. See, sometimes we can take these things for, you know, what we think of as just a stressful situation or to help us out with a new job or whatever. And yet they, you know, the positive benefits sort of sneak up on us and we realize when we go off it, wow, that was actually doing a lot more than I fully, uh, fully realized. So thanks for sharing, Rhonda. Okay, so it looks like Linda, um, Linda wrote in one that has come in from someone else um, saying, this product has helped my concentration both at work and at home. I feel I can take on the world now that I've been using it. I can now remember things that I've been forgetting for years. I have no trouble remembering people's names and that sort of thing. So, all right, looks like another one in here from Rhonda. Rhonda saying that works for all ages, this formula we've been talking about, those three herbs. In my family, it's taken by a high school age granddaughter who finds it really helps her um, ability to concentrate. Um, right through to herself, to Rhonda saying that she couldn't stay on top of a busy life without it. So. That's great. Awesome. That's great. Um, thank you very much for writing in so many comments there that Kieran writes in that using um, using the special vitamins, herbs and minerals were great for her memory and keep her brain functioning well with new jobs. I'm not sure whether it was just whether Kieran's talking about just um, general, the nutrition and minerals that we recommend or whether it was specifically those brain boosting herbs. But thanks for writing that in. Lots of different comments. Thank you. So Kayleen, a colleague of mine, said they feel focused, calm, more in tune with everyday life after following those recommendations. So great to um, great to hear. Emma writes in that she loves the product um, that we're talking about here. Started taking when she was learning um, two new jobs simultaneous, simultaneously after the loss of her dad. And it did wonders for her ability to remember um, and be in a more much more in a more compressed state of time, far less stress involved. Awesome, awesome. So the articles I mentioned are on the Healthy Wealthy Wise blog and the Healthy Wealthy Wise Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, then definitely request an invite and we can get you, um, we can get you into that group where you can really communicate with other people. You can communicate with some of the people that you've, you've um, heard here mentioning well, not heard that you've seen on screen <laughs> mentioning their you know their success stories there so we really do have an entire community there to um, help you congratulations for being with us being part of this particular session as I mentioned before the the particular product that we recommend is 15% off for 24 hours only starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow that's um, uh, that's Adelaide time, so um, Central Standard Time. So, you know, w if if you need some help getting an order in, you'd like to try this particular blend that we recommend, then reach out to us, and we can we can hook you up. If you were invited to see this or tagged here by somebody that's already working within the Savvy Team Wellness community here, then 
you know, just ask them. They'll be glad to help you out and point you in the right direction. So, and if some of the other things that I mentioned about minerals and essential fatty acids and all of that sort of thing, if some of that information is relevant to you or hormonal balance, all that sort of thing, then there's a wealth of information inside our Healthy Wealthy Wise private Facebook group. So we'd love to have you part of that community if you're looking to reach that higher level of wellness. So if you want to improve your overall well-being, there's something that you're striving for, something that you're not happy about, then you are in the right place at the right time. We will guide you there. Okay. We're a preeminent movement in this global health and you know well-being space. And we are so passionate about helping people, you know, just step by step to reach that higher level that they're looking for. You know, it's almost like we like to say that if you if you partner with us, you're sort of done. You don't you just know you're on the right track. You don't have to stress about making more decisions and you know worry about what's next. We you know as a group we can guide you there. On behalf of the whole team, thank you for being with us. All the best, and we look forward to helping you reach that higher level of wellness. So thanks thanks for being with us.